Hello guys, welcome back to our sixth Python UPA tutorial. And the reason why I keep on closing my project is because when you when you catch this from uh, the middle of our tutorial and don't watch our previous tutorial, you can get yourself started with these handy um, Linux commands. Okay, that's the whole reason why I'm starting everything from opening my project folder. Yep you have to learn everything basically everything everything because nothing is tough here this is the end point of developers and software engineers with impatient okay Imp impatient software engineers you don't have to click things a thousand times for them to work out all right where are we Today we are handling the, not today, okay, we are continuing the previous tutorial, I just completed it a few minutes ago, and right now I have to handle the get request, you yep. get request, get request, and, okay, let's come back here and browse our, okay, let's come here and browse our, geez, what? can browse our data from our database and shortly we're going to pull these records yeah and I don't just know actually no I have some rough, rough idea because I'm controlling this and you're watching okay so I have absolute authority over what I'm going to do <laughs> okay so I'm going to start by uh, pulling multiple records and I'm just afraid this tutorial is going to be very very short so I have to okay no, I mean that I have to buy time I'll just give you what you want <laughs> okay so here when let me just demonstrate something up here something up here I mean, I'm not writing a route here did you guys see that or oh, except the endpoint okay so where we are defining index, maybe you can define index here. Index, okay. Still no harm, but because this is basically the user's index, okay. You can do users underscore index, okay. And then what we're going to do here, now I'm going to define this as a, let's say agenda. I want to show you something here guys so this response will have to wait but can we just can we just com no I'm not going to comment out anything but suppose you are this is your data source let's say you not this whatever I highlighted what I'm going to type next suppose this one here gender gender is your data source okay but our gender is equal to mm, not an empty dictionary let's add something right here maybe male and then male will be one yep and then again we can do female uh -oh. put it female is equal to two and then do you guys know that there are over 20 transgender tra uh, gender types there are so many but you're going to keep this to three and okay just make the, uh, the this one three okay I'm forgetting with the comma there there yep oh and if you want me to start with female I can do that for all your females that that are wondering why I'm not gender I have gender sensitive but um or okay, can't have priority on gender as well i can make female come first no problem but i'm going to leave it the way it is only my worry is right now my list looks so bad yeah okay so we could just return the okay return uh, i'm going to tell you my why oh, my list looks so bad my dictionary there looks so bad so we can just return jsonify here if this the, of our source data which is currently gender okay 
so if we could do slash gender here and then uh, PIP let me just PIP NV show just activate my virtual environment there and then if you could just flash run this and open already commented out generating of records so it will be a little bit faster now here so here if you could just come to slash users yes and then slash okay we can target gender now gender yeah you can see female is equal to two male one transgender three ah looks so messed up and it's always it's always a one the key should be one and then the value should be male something of the so let, let's correct that let's correct that so we can just come here or oh, can be a little bit smaller right now and then what you're going to do here can we can you do return response here okay return return response is equal to an empty dictionary and then inside this empty dictionary we are going to reverse all these things all these keys and values which means we are we are going to okay we are going to to map every value on on its key yeah and then after mapping that we are going to just say for every okay for every do do so for every key value pair which is in in gender items up there okay in this gender item so what we're going to do here basically is just to map every value on its key i've typed that so that you understand but that can be represented by we're going to map value on a key value key okay and then that's how we are going to map them and then for every okay i'm, I'm shortening this so that you you understand okay okay so for every key value pair so for every key value in gender dot items but this is more of a method and the dictionary that that you can call yeah so that will reverse reverse these items in this dictionary here so that we have one male two female three gender okay so which means you can now just return this okay can return this response there okay now before we go into our database stuff okay so that's for our request here so which means if we refresh this oh no we we haven't effected the changes and then you can just do flask run or python update py let me refresh this boom one male two female three transgender okay a little bit nicer that's how you, you reverse stuff you know in a dictionary just map the key but they are values okay so wasting your time okay if there were a million or if there were a thousand you would do them manually by just bringing this one here okay so that's how to prepare your response and then you present it back to the user yeah but now here we are going to get our data from the database that we just created and flashing fake records into actually and a few more records that we insert inserted in our previous tutorial you can catch it back so what we're going to do here we are going to mm, implement it right here in the get we, we could do it here as well maybe slash register yeah we could implement it here as well but we're not going to do that we're going to use the class-based routing the resource bit so here we're going to pass in self id is equal to none but i don't want my id to be id because from our database here you can see our we have your your id your id yeah we have your id ok 
Okay, let's go like Doom. Let's go like three. For those who are joining us, you can know how to browse this if you don't have uh, the the browser here, the DB browser for SQLite. You can just do that and then dot open database dot SQLite three. Yes, the tables. You can check the tables that are there. And then you can just select stuff from. Yes, okay. So here, so we are going to get these record records from our database, okay? And we're going to start by getting nearly all the records, and then we'll narrow it down to a single record, okay? Hope you understand that. So dot quit. Clear and in cd dot dot so after that typing this a million times you guys will now be used to how to navigate through your directories yeah okay now here what we're going to do here we are going to set prison back instead of id let's uh, let, let's just do um uid yeah like the instance in our database and for now we are going to say it's none unless something is passed this route okay then it will change from none to what whatever it is passed but then again we're not going to pass it we pass nothing we pass nothing and passing anything and passing nothing okay i don't know the nicholas swag version of that the nicholas rendition of passing anything or nothing okay so um i'm going to check if the UID is set in the first place if we, if someone passes the UID because here we're going to get a single instance and multiple instances okay so we're going to say here if UID is none okay which means if someone has not passed user ID okay the UID there okay which means if you are at this route here not the u the one with the uid at uh at the end here in the url slide here then okay if you are at this place here then you need to just get all the records okay or if you want to manipulate this you can make your query understand that you want a specific number of records here so here if your id is none then we are going to query our database right there okay so we'll say users here okay the number all the users that we want here and then we already imported our user class okay we're just going to map every, everything back to our blueprint okay our class model which has, has our blueprint here so we, we are going to say users is equal to user the class itself that we just imported this one here um, this one here yeah and then remember we all we all also had a uh, users the plural form of our records okay where many say to true we will also import that one as well to serialize our database here so we'll say here back to our call okay we'll say user user is equal to user and then dot query yep so user.query.all yes like that just like that that's just what we need so that will give you a list of all the users that you have already okay in the database okay so what we're going to do here is just to return we're going to return okay now we need the user user schema users you understand that now hope so user schema where we serialized everything is all the records where main is equal to using marshmallow okay so we'll require that we'll say we are going to return users schema users and send them users need to use a noun users schema and then what we're going to do here is just to dump and then we're going to dump all the users okay understand that we're just going to dump all all these records and then after 
after, after doing that, we are just going to say our status quo when that one is successful is 200 here, yeah? which means okay. This one is um, modified, no, created. Two one is for created. <sighs> okay, so actually, when you when it's a success, we'll see our RS client noting somewhere that it's a success or the resource has been created here. Yeah? That's just done like that. Not too, too many calls. That's how you get records from the database. If you guys now have understood that, should be easy, easy to grasp. Okay, so else, else comes in here. So this else, I think we should handle the else bit in our next tutorial. Yep. So I'm going to package this only as getting one instance okay all the multiple instances of records in the database so the next and the next one that comes should be as easy and short as this and i'll package it as getting multiple records so let's just try this one out so we are going to the get request there we just do flask run first flask flask run, run. yep so we come back to our rest client let's just up them all insomnia insomnia I, I like insomnia because it matches my okay <laughs> yeah, i think you know what i'm going to say i'm one guy who really sleeps okay so i'm going to add another request here yeah but now my request is going to be a get request okay so i'm just going to get all the users get here okay let me just create this this is now going to be a get request okay, let me just organize it a little bit so that it, it comes down here yep so you're going to get all the users that you have registered and then here i'm going to do base url so this is going to be users and then after users we'll go to slash here yeah. maybe the same same the same same url like, that you have except now we are getting re uh, we, are, we are implementing a get request okay okay let's fire this and see what comes back there we have all our records from the database yes move it move it fellas move it move it move it move it there even the records that we inserted in our previous tutorial so okay let me just confirm that to you let's come let's come here let's come here okay and i want to duplicate this yeah but now i just come to slash users that, that, that's a get request and boom that's it guys that's the whole data that we have all the records that we have in the database that should have been easy so the next thing here is in a, uh, is to check if we have a specific record number here and that one comes in our next tutorial yeah so you guys are going to catch me in the next tutorial, the next tutorial, the next tutorial and implement getting a single instance of a record from our database when we consume our next endpoint. Well, this is interesting guys, yeah? It's interesting, but I'll package this. I don't edit my tutorials, I'll just, <laughs> just finish and package it straight away. <laughs> 